What's going on, good people of the world? Rafi Konsker here, Preferred Plumbing Solutions. There it is, right here. We got a lot of comments that people like the black background versus the white background, so we're here to please, baby. Um, preferred Plumbing Solutions, home service plumbing company. We only do residential work. We deal directly with homeowners who value and appreciate their home. That is who we deal with. That is who we are. We are the leaders in the industry. We are the leaders in customer service and communication. We are the leaders in providing various options and various warranties for the work. We look after you like you are our family. That is who we are and that is who we will always be. So today I want to talk about water pressure. I had an inquiry to talk about water pressure, just to understand water pressure. So here it is, very simple. Um, Depending where you are, let's talk about the GTA, Greater Toronto Area. I mean, there's, there's Toronto, there's North York, there's, there's Thornhill, there's Midtown, there's Richmond Hill, there's Markham, there's Vaughan, there's Aurora, there's Etobicoke, Scarborough, I mean, it's endless. But generally speaking, water pressure to your average residential home, residential building, will be anywhere between probably 40 and 80 PSI, okay? Um, according to Ontario Plumbing Code, it, your water pressure should not exceed 79.8 PSI coming into a home. If you're, if you're experiencing low water pressure, first thing you want to check is your water service, the pipe coming up from the concrete into your home. What is that water service size? Minimum code for a water service in where we live here in Ontario, minimum code is three quarters of an inch. Now, if you have a really old home, there's a good chance you have a half inch water service or a five eighths of an inch water service. So it could be that the water service itself is undersized. But if you have a home that's like, let's say 2,500 square feet or less, you could probably get away with a five eighths water service depending on the occupancy level. So there's many variables, but if no one's using water in the home and you're turning on one faucet or running a shower or using one plumbing fixture and you're finding there's just not enough water pressure, then you have an issue with water pressure. But on the other hand, if your water pressure is fine when one person is using uh, the water, but if the dishwasher is running while somebody's showering, while someone is outside watering the grass and you're, and you're experiencing a dip in water pressure, for one, that's kind of normal. And two, in that case, you may need an upgraded water service or a larger water service, okay? Plus, it's a good idea to have a water conditioner, a flow tech, because if you have scale deposits and mineral buildup in your system, which over 80% of North American households do, then if, you, if we put one of our flow tech systems in, it'll optimize your water volume because it's gonna break away and remove the existing scale from your system. It'll open up ports. It'll render all those minerals harmless and allow for a lot better flow through your water supply system. That'll also help. Um, another thing you can do is check all your aerators. Maybe your aerators are dirty. Maybe your shower heads are dirty. These are things you can improve to have more water volume coming out of your system. Also, have regular maintenance. Give us a call at least once a year. Let's check, maybe you have leaks somewhere, maybe faucets are, are, are losing water, maybe toilets are running and you're not aware of it. If you have water loss, that's water consumption, it's taking away from the overall water volume and pressure in the home. So there's many things you can do. We also can install a booster pump. Some of our clients actually put them in for. Uh, booster pumps take your water, what you have in the basement coming into the home, the existing water pressure, and it generates, takes that water and it boosts up the pressure even more and then distributes it to your home. And it has what's called a smart uh, meter on it. So it has smart technology. So if someone's using water and then let's say somebody else turns on water as well, it'll sense the demand on the water. It'll kick up that circulating system. It'll, it'll increase the water pressure even more to adapt and accommodate the demand. Um, but generally speaking, if you have a three quarter inch water service coming to the home, you should have adequate water pressure. Another thing you can do is, you know, the main shutoff valve for your house, Generally, the old ones are a globe style valve. It's like a rotating handle, either a silver handle or a blue handle or a red handle. But that way, the way it works is water travels through the valve, but there's a dip and a valley kind of, and the stem is kind of in the way. So you actually get a reduction of water volume because we're reducing the space where water can travel. So another good thing to do, which you probably need an upgrade anyway, is to replace your building control valve, which is the official term for it, which just means your whole house main water shutoff valve. If we replace that with a ball valve, a ball valve is full port, meaning when the valve is in the open position, 
the inside of the valve is the same diameter, same diameter as the pipe it is sitting on. So you have no resistance and no obstruction and the water can flow freely through there as well. So there's a lot of different things you can do, but regular maintenance, having a water conditioner, inspecting the water service is a huge part of it. So that's where I wanna leave you. I don't wanna to get too complicated. I shared a lot of technical things. I hope I was clear. Comment below. If you have questions, give us a call. We don't charge for phone calls. I can guide you over the phone. Um, I hope that helps. Let me know. Um, I love you guys. Stay positive, stay clear. Be successful, be successful. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family. Um, spread good vibes, do good things. I love you all. Rafi Consker, Preferred Plumbing. Out for the day, baby. Have a great day. Be in touch.